ahead and have your Bibles ready to Ephesians chapter 6, verse um, 11, no, 10 and 11, real quick. Uh, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Praise God. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to to stand against the wells of the devil okay now that means you have to first of all accept jesus christ as your savior okay and you have to be reborn again and baptized in the water this is all very critical and important the faith it is that you have in the Lord you got to take the Lord's word very very strongly because it is serious that we understand that we have to take his word seriously brothers and sisters. able to stand against the wells of the devil you got to be able to stand up against this and if you don't have this spiritual armor of God on you're not going to be able to stand against the wells of the devil. Righteousness. <laughs> the, uh, the breastplates of righteousness, which means you have the righteousness of what? Of Christ, Jesus Christ. Yes, <laughs> the righteousness of Jesus Christ lives where? Within inside of you preach the gospel wherever the Lord leads you because there's many lost souls out there each and every single day and he's using you so that they can find the Lord come into Jesus let him use you that is also putting the armor of God on by letting him use you for his good shield of faith what does that mean do you have faith in Jesus? Do you have faith in the Lord? The one who died on that cross for you? Do you have faith that he can overcome all of them things that is in your life? That he has already overcome the devil. Do you have faith in that? Do you have faith that he's going to be able to feed you when they come to prosecute you? Do you have faith when you don't take that chip? That he's going to be there for you. You're going to have that faith. This is the faith. We're talking about the full armor of God. This, the spiritual full armor of God in the name of Jesus Christ. When the devil comes at you. you you've got to know that the Lord is with you. 100% put that full armor of God on. Have the devil coming at you within these very last days. What are you supposed to say? This is another part of faith. Okay, putting the armor of God on as well. Satan, get behind me and flee in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You have to tell that nasty devil to flee from you. And he must in the name of Jesus. The Bible tells us so. With that being said, okay, you guys, we have spiritual warfare all over. We have so many different battles that is taking place right now. Nations against nations, as it talks about in the Bible. Rumors of wars is already over. It's pretty much wars now. And there's different kinds of wars that is taking place within these very last days. 